Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about the best deals going on at Walgreens for this week. I'll show you what I got, but I'm gonna tell you about tons of other deals that you don't see out here that you might be interested in doing as well. Um, thank you to everyone for the well wishes last week. Um, if you didn't hear, I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't do a video last week. I'm finally feeling better. My son got over it way faster than I did, um, but I was like stuck at home not able to work for a few days, so that was really frustrating for me. So I apologize I didn't get a video out last week. Hopefully people will still be tuning in to the video this week. Lots of important stuff I wanna talk with you about on Walgreens, but before I get into that, um, I wanna to jump to something that I have pre-recorded for you because it pertains to the holidays and I have a discount code to share with you. Um, I snagged some really cute things and I wanna share it with you. About a year ago, I placed my first order with Shein, and I remember scouring the internet trying to find reviews before I ordered. So today, I'm gonna share with you a few of the things that I've just gotten recently. Thanks to Shein sponsoring this video, I also have a discount code to share with you guys. I'll pop that up here on the screen. That will save you an additional 15% off their already affordable prices. This is actually my third time ordering from them, but this time I did all clothing items. Everything you see in the video, I will link for you in the video description box, but just to give you a heads up, I typically order an extra small when it's available, a small when it's not, and I am almost 5'7". I wanna start with my favorite one first. It's the dress that I have on. I remember seeing it on the website and I thought it was beautiful and I loved it even more when I tried it on. The one thing I will note is this dress does run long, so if you're on the shorter side, just keep that in mind. I'm gonna be popping pictures and videos up on the screen. I feel like that's easier for y'all to see what it looks like versus me just holding things up here. So I'll show you here, but then really just focus on the pictures and the videos because I find that that is most helpful. I also got this blue dress here for a nice night out and I really like how it fits as well. Both of these were in an extra small, and again, all of that information is gonna be in the video description box. I picked two other dresses for fall. Now, this one, uh, when you see it in the video, I feel like it's a little bit big on me. They did not have an extra small, so I got a small in this dress. Um, I do like the style quite a bit. I just wish it was a little bit smaller for me. And then this sweater dress, super cute. And in the pictures, I don't have tights on yet because I didn't have any at the house, but I'm gonna grab some tights and wear this with boots and I think it will be super cute. This one came in um, a number of different colors. Now, I picked up a couple of jackets and a coat. Now this coat is probably my second favorite. I love how this fits. I love how it looks. Um, the little button at the top, it's just, um, I really like this coat. So hopefully it's cold, you know, at least a couple of days where I live so I can wear it. I also picked up like a motorcycle style jacket. And I really like this one too. I thought it was super cute. Um, I'm gonna have to like put on my cool pants to try to be cool enough to wear a uh, motorcycle style leather jacket. But I liked that one a lot. Um, and I feel like they're really trendy right now. Another thing that I keep seeing people wear are these sequin jackets. Now I picked one that I wanted to wear over like a nicer dress going out at night. I know that's not what you see in the picture. I'm wearing like a t-shirt and jeans in the picture. Um, but again, this was a small, so I feel like it was a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. Um, and now that I see it in person, I'm kind of thinking that I would want a, um, like a blazer style sequin jacket. And then the last item that I got was this sweater. It came in a number of different colors, but this is what I love about it. Look how cute the bows are in the back. Um, so those, those were all of the items that I got this time with my order. If you are interested in placing an order, don't forget I have that discount code SWC Christ. It's gonna take an additional 15% off your order. But one thing I'm curious, if you've ordered from them before and you've ordered something that you absolutely love, share it with us down in the comments because I'd love to see what you ordered and what you thought of it. Okay, so the first couple of things that I wanna talk about. One, there is a promo right now for an online purchase or curbside purchase. You spend $40, you're gonna get 10 
dollars in Walgreens cash back. That's just a promo going on. There was no coupon that I could find to, uh, actually I do think there was a coupon. I'll pop it up on the screen if I have it clipped, uh, but I saw it in their ad, $10 back when you spend 40, but that was online only. Now, when I was in store today, a um, $9 in Walgreens cash when you spend 40 paper booster printed. So if I wanted to do a deal in store using that, I could, but I did not do that this morning because it printed with my last transaction. Now, if you are purchasing online all the regular price items, you can get 25% off by using the code TAKE25, which is a pretty solid deal, especially if you look at the Walgreens branded items, um, and I'll talk about that more here in a minute. If you purchase your contacts at Walgreens, and I mention this because a number of you have said you get contacts when there are deals. Uh, there is a code for 30% off, that code is CYBER30. So you can use that code for 30% off your contacts, of course, that is online only. Now, last night, late last night, when I was starting to work up the deals, I found a ridiculous deal on these huge packs of K-Cups. I posted it to the community tab, so hopefully you scored. Um, but these K-Cups here, the 32 count pack of the Green Mountain, this is a Nantucket, it was $2.29. That's 90% off. Now the dark, it was dark magic or dark blend, Green Mountain, it was even cheaper. It was $1.79. I just don't drink the dark blend coffee, so I got the Nantucket. Um, but check and see if you can curbside those bad boys because that is a great deal. Now, just off the top, the nice brand chips are $1.99 again this week. A lot of you said the potato chips were too salty. The potato chips I thought were a little salty, but the barbecue ones, I don't know. I thought they were really good, so I bought another bag this week. The oatmeal is also $1.99, like the little packs of oatmeal are $1.99. The nice cereal is $1.15. The... Um, there was another nice bread. Oh, the nice trail mix was on sale for $2. And I'll tell you more grocery deals here in a minute. But those were the nice branded items that I saw on sale. Now, these beans are regular price at 99 cents. So I purchased these curbside, used that code TAKE25, dropped my cost down to 74 cents. That rivals what I would pay at the grocery store for a can of beans. And we can use our Walgreens cash to pay, which I love being able to use my Walgreens cash to pay for my groceries because then it doesn't come out of my bank account. Now, let's talk about um, in-store deals, okay? Deals you want to do in-store. Why do you want to do them in-store? Because you get a register reward and that is not going to happen if you do it curbside. So this all detergent, it is $4.99. There is a dollar digital coupon, so you'll pay $3.99. Then you get a dollar register reward back, making your final cost $2.99 for this thing of all. The Gillette Shave Foam, these are buy two, get a $4 register reward. They are also buy one, get one half off. Now the online pricing makes two of them $5.23. Getting back a $4 register reward when you do it in store, making your final cost $1.23 or 61 cents each. Let's talk about this for a minute. My in-store price was more expensive than the online price, so I paid a few cents more. Now, if your store will price match, which the Walgreens policy says it will price match, um, you can ask your store to price match the online store and uh, the online price, and you'll get these for that 61 cents each. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I didn't even ask because I don't want to deal with the price matching because it just blows the mind of my store. So I just paid the few cents more and called it a day. Now, this NYX push up. Oh, that's a funny name. Um, lingerie push-up lipstick. Interesting. Uh, it's $2.49. This one I did curbside because there is a $2 digital and a $3 store digital. Both of those will apply, dropping your final cost down to free for this one item. Now, if you get two of them, you're gonna pay a little bit out of pocket, so if you really like the product, you might consider getting two. I just snagged one because it was completely free. Again, that was curbside. Now, you could do this one 
in store or you could do it curbside. I did it curbside. They are $5.49 regular price, okay? There is a $4 digital and a $3 store digital. So that makes them $3.98 for both or $1.99 each. That $4 manufacturer coupon said just for you, but I think most people got it. But for some reason you don't see it, it did say like only for you or just for you in the corner. So not everyone may have that coupon. Now, the Maybelline, I noticed I had a $4 digital on the Maybelline. These are also buy one, get one half off. So I picked the um, loose powder. They were $3.99 each, so that made it $5.98 for both. Um, and then I had that $4 digital, dropped it down to $1.98 for both of them, or just 99 cents each. So I'm showing you a few of these deals in case you're planning to do that um, get $10 when you spend 40 on an online purchase. Now let's talk about the Rimmel really quick because there are high value Rimmel coupons in the Walgreens app. There are also high value Rimmel rebates in the Ibotta app. Now the Ibotta app says you cannot use a manufacturer coupon and get the rebate, okay? So just remember that. So here is one way you can follow the rules and still do this deal. These are $2.99 each but they are buy one, get one half off. So $2.99 for one, $1.50 for the other. I had a $3 digital coupon, okay? So that's gonna take $2.23 off, leaving me to pay $2.25. Now I only used a one coupon, so I can still submit for one rebate, not two, getting $2 back, leaving my final cost to be 25 cents for both of them. Now. If you just want to get one for curbside, it's $2.99. That $3 digital will take off $2.99, leaving you to pay nothing. So it depends on how you want to work it. Do you want to get two for $0.25 cents and get an Ibotta rebate, or do you just want to get one for free? You could do it either way. Check your coupons for the Rimmel Face and the Rimmel Eye. That same process that I just told you about would work for those as well. The face and the eye products, I believe, were a bit more expensive than the lip product. Okay, another really good deal. My store didn't have it, which is why you don't see it here. It's on the Nivea Men Body Wash. And this is curbside only because there's a coupon code. So you want to pick up three of the Men Nivea Body Washes at $5. That gets your total to 15. Use the code NIVIA. It's gonna take $5 off the $15 purchase. You'll pay $10. You'll get back $5 in Walgreens cash, leaving your final cost to be $5 for all three or $1.66 each. Now there was like a charcoal one that did not count for that NIVIA coupon. Um, it was just the like, I think it was Nivea Cool and Nivea Hydration were the two that were working for that Nivea code that takes off $5. Now, a few other deals to mention. The Tide Simply Bounce products, those are four for $10. Uh, the Mott's Apple Juice is two for six. The Cheez-Its, the box of Cheez-Its, they're three for $5. The Quaker Oatmeal, two for $8. Pop-Tarts, the Kellogg's products are buy one, get one free. So the Pop-Tarts are $4.49, buy one, get one free. That drops them down to $2.24 each. Um, I believe that was all of the deals that I did. And I believe that was everything I wanted to tell you. I'm curious how your Thanksgiving was. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? We celebrated with my family on Friday. We played Family Feud. We played bocce ball. We um, had fun. And I was still working deals in between things here and there because it's hard to celebrate Thanksgiving on Friday, which is also Black Friday, which is when I'm trying to share deals. But I mentioned in my Instagram story, I feel like there's always deals, right? Whether you get it on one day or you get it a week later, they're always going to be deals. So if you miss one, no big deal. There's gonna, it's gonna come around again, so don't worry about it. Uh, but I am curious if you scored something amazing on Black Friday or this weekend, let us know down in the comments. I'd love for y'all to help each other out. I am consistently posting to the community tab on YouTube, to my Instagram, which is Save with Christina. Um, I post a lot of Amazon deals over on my TikTok, which is Save with Christina. Um, 
I'm just trying to share everything that I can find that you might be interested in as far as gift giving at the holidays. Um, so definitely stop by and check out some of those deals. If you're a Facebook person, you can find me over there as well at Saving with Christina. Hope y'all have a fantastic week. Thanks.